Greendale, Wisconsin is going to be on the map now. People are going to know where Greendale is because this band is going to represent Wisconsin. What's special about this band was their story, and their story is they are from all walks of life. They don't have to audition to be part of the band. Most of these students do band and other things. We loved that because it shows a true commitment, a true passion that motivates them to be in the band. We're not in the most populated state. We're a generally small area. This is an amazing community. It's got the historic aspect, but also a small school, relatively small, 920 kids, and 200 of them are in the band. But just to have so much hype around the band and to be able to get the opportunity to do things like the Macy's Day Parade and the Rose Parade, it's really just a magical experience because I realized that if I had lived maybe one city over, I would not be in the same position I am right now, getting to experience these same things. Everything about high school, I think this is definitely going to be one of the best times of my life. Starting with Macy's and ending with the Rose Parade. Yeah, it's going to be kind of crazy. Two very once-in-a-lifetime opportunities. That was pretty big because, you know, Macy's like, yo, Thanksgiving, Thanksgiving Day Parade, turn on your TV, hey, look, it's the Macy's Parade. I am one of the luckiest people to, like, even go to those things. It's the majesty of this parade and it's glorious and it's a great way to kick off the new year. <laughs> I just got to have the best experience of my life and I want you guys to have the same thing for yourselves. My name is Tommy, I'm a trumpet and this is a day at band camp. Bang does take up a majority of my life during the season. He tends to do a lot, which is awesome. It's just you have to make it all work. We try to get everything on the calendar. We print out a schedule at the beginning of every week, just so he knows what he has. He's got tennis um, year-round, and then soccer, he also is that year-round. So in addition to the school team, he actually has been playing on club forever. Tommy Hess with Mom Lori. He also does National Honor Society, and for the executive board, I know he has to do some things. And he has to be in church at least uh, a couple times a month for cross-bearing. There's just a bunch of different things. Oh, band, let's not forget band. And he does take lessons, and he does that year-round. He takes private lessons. Driving to Tuesday night rehearsals and practicing for two hours, it's just a lot of work. He's got a lot, but it's all good stuff. I mean, it's all stuff that we're like, great, if, if he can fit it in, as long as you don't get stressed, because he obviously, I hate to say this, but school comes first, so when something starts to slide, then he's gotta skip something. The experience of being like called to the stadium on that Tuesday night with all the eighth graders, and we realized there was gonna be a big announcement, because why else would we bring in the eighth graders? So, that big projector was up, and that's when I knew that something was up. And just to add on to that, some news crew came in, and at that point we were like, okay, this is kind of serious. This is not just about the show. I'm thrilled and excited to invite you to be one of our prestigious band participants for the 2020 Rose Parade. <laughs> And welcome to the Rose Tournament Bowl. of Roses family. I'm so excited that you will be with us. My senior year, obviously the last one, I want to do the best. Uh, I'm hoping, even if I'm not a section leader, that I'll be a leader on the field in some way, or uh, a mentor or a role model to the freshmen. That's just what I've always wanted to be. I wasn't really sure. I, I kind of didn't think that it was going to be the state video, but I wasn't sure at all what it was going to be. Uh, but when I saw that we were going to Pasadena and the Rose Bowl, uh, I was ecstatic. I was just uh, extremely excited to see that. That was crazy. That was a key factor of me really trying and going for this band. Very cool. Very cool. <laughs> 
found out we had made the Rose Parade, I initially did not think that that was for my senior year. Because I read the year and it said 2020. And at that point I was like, oh, that's one year after I am. That's really disappointing. And about two minutes of processing it through my head later, I had realized that I was going to be a senior and I was going to go to the Rose Parade. Congratulations, Greendale High School Band. See you in Pasadena. And I had this inclination, I was like, it's Rose Bowl. Like, I know it can't be Macy's because we couldn't be in it for like five years, but I knew it had to be Rose Bowl. And then I saw it and I just, I'm so excited. My name is Tom Reifenberg, who have never met me before. For those who have never met me, I'm in my 18th year here as band director at the high school. The purpose and primary goal of tonight is to give you as much information as possible that we know at this time, so that you can make an informed decision on whether or not your son or daughter would like to join us for next fall. And I say next fall because it's not just the Rose Parade. If they're signing up for the band program next fall, they're in the band program. They're not just coming to Pasadena with us. What an incredible honor uh, that you guys have to march in the 131st Tournament of Roses Parade. You've had quite a run with Macy's a few years ago and now Tournament of Roses, so you're checking off the biggest uh, parades for marching bands uh, in the world. I'm so proud of our band for getting making it into the Rose Parade. I think after Macy's, that was a huge accomplishment and we just keep climbing up that hill and getting better and achieving more and I think that's awesome. Welcome to night one of marching music. The start of the season. The show is called Every Rose has its throne. After every year, it's kind of hard to see one senior class go out, but it's always nice to see a new freshman class come in. And this class was just really nice. I had a ton of fun with them. from all over the world and you get to trade pins with them. I can't wait to see this come together. Hi, my name is Ethan. I'm going to be a junior and I play baritone. Our kids will be there. This is a huge thing. Very exciting. Marching band has really helped her to get to know the kids in high school um, of all grades, especially last year being a freshman. Hard workers. It's not a, I have to go to band, it's I want to go to band and I want to work hard because I think collectively it's a group effort, like it's a good community and you want to make your community proud. She'll be a junior, she plays the flute and we are beyond excited for the Rose Bowl Parade. But I'm extremely proud of her.
2017, we applied for the Rose Parade, and we had heard back that we didn't make it, but that we were close. And so that was, it was good to be close. Last BOA in 2017, they have a, the Tournament of Roses comes to BOA every year because they choose a finalist band to, to be in the parade a year and a half later. And they put an invite out to all directors, anyone that wants to come up and meet with the, the Tournament of Roses people, do that. So Ms. Parsons and I went up to, to meet with them in 2017, and we walked into the suite where they were, and they remembered me from the video. My name is Tom Reifenberg, and I am privileged to be finishing my 16th year as director of bands for the 270-member Greendale High School Marching So that was cool. That was promising right away. Because I, I didn't necessarily know if we were, how soon we were going to apply again and all that, and, but talking to them... They encouraged us to apply. They reached out to me a couple different times throughout the winter months last year, saying, we watched your field show. We loved it. Let, can you please consider applying again? We'd love to have you apply. We really hope that our video has illustrated... So then we decided to do it, and with Mr. Kallenberger's help, we put Tom together Tom another video, and we needed some sort of catch, some sort of... We need to be special, because they're, again, just like BOA, when we're... You need to be memorable... The Rose Parade committee, they're watching all of these videos that the directors and bands from across the country send in, and they want to see something that they're going to remember. So we used our teddy bear concert as the, the catch. So the video actually started with Christmas music, and started with, oh, come all you faithful. And the Rose Parade people even said to me after the fact, at first, we thought, uh, why, did they, why, why did they send their Christmas concert footage? Like, why, why did they do that? But what we did is we started with that, and then we turned it to the teddy bear part, and they loved that, because the Rose Parade is, is really about giving back to people. They have a theme every year that they want their floats and their bands to, to match the theme. And so when they saw that we brought in 300-plus teddy bears and gave it to the, our local children's hospital, and that grabbed their attention. And then they saw our field show footage and that we were still improving in quality, and so I think that's kind of what put us over the top. We are at Van Camp right now. Van Camp is where everything finally comes together and the, the light bulb kind of goes on for everybody. In one, two, three, four. I play the trumpet and these two girls play the clarinet. We have a little clarinet problem. One step. All the pieces that we've been doing separately in sectionals, in percussion rehearsals, and color guard rehearsals finally start to come together. These dots, there's like every green dot is like two step, and every orange dot is like every four step. So it like helps you when you're like marching to your spot to know where exactly to go. These garbage cans are like the props, but they're not actually the props. They're like just something to put here until we have the actual props. This is our final run at band camp, and then we're going home. It's early in the season. Let's start the habit now. Let's build the habit now. Let's work hard now and not fool around now and carry that throughout this year. Let's really, really, really work hard. Let's make this show the best Greendale has ever seen. Let's do this. Let's go. I think we learned a lot of leadership skills in band, and I also think that what hard work can give, I guess, work ethic and stuff, I know that I really took that away from band. Working hard, always giving up as much as you can for everything, for every rep, because what is the point of like taking and giving like all this time to something if you're not gonna actually commit to it? So I think the biggest one is really just giving it your all. Everything that you want and anything that you want is always going to seem out of reach. There's always something that's going to get in your way, but it's really just going to come down to you and how much you want it and how much you're willing to work for what it is you want. 
thank you so much for coming out. This is awesome. And I think you are going to be very impressed with where they are at for this early in the process. There's always those people that don't want to be there, but I mean, I'm going to try my best to make them excited, to make them happy, to make them have fun. Am I getting it okay? okay? I want you guys to go out there and perform the best show you have in weeks, okay? okay? There's always going to be somebody looking up to you in some sort of way. Grand the 2019 Pasadena Bound Greendale High School Marching Band. That was really, 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 really good. In the ballad, I was like more synth to give it more, to fill out the bottom ends yeah. in the ballad impact. And then all of a sudden there it was. Yeah. Tempo in the ballad was the best it ever was. For August 22nd, it was really, really, really good and really musical and lots of great things happening. We're going to our first competition of the season. Uh, it's in Lake Park. I'm going to have a fun time. From one night only until my senior year, I get to do a pep talk. Yes. Okay! <laughs> Number two, we talked at the very, very first mini camp rehearsal about how from the beginning of the season all the way to the Rose Parade is about entertaining people. So with that in mind, if you make a mistake, if you screw up, if you miss a step off, if you miss a note, if something weird happens, a prop thing happens, so what? Just shake it off and keep going because good entertainers work through mistakes. Entertain the heck out of them today. And number three, as always, is... Have fun! Have fun. Good luck, Greendale. You guys are going to be great. I think it was good, especially for a prelim. Musically, we were worried about music, we weren't watching things, but musically, that was very, very, very good. One was great, two this afternoon was slow. Today it was great. Yeah. It was very good. I barely saw anybody around me. I was just focused on getting to my spot and being in time, and it's nerve wracking. In class 3A, the award for outstanding auxiliary goes to the Green Day. <laughs> One of the reasons why it's really cool to, for the Color Guard to get recognized by professionals that know how good they are. The group of Color Guard that we have is phenomenal. So go out tonight and 
put on a great show. We're going to see some of these same bands next week at Victor J. Andrew with some other really good bands too. And then ideally, they're moving the props to a picture around the drums for the impact that we ended with. Yep. Yeah, and then after that, then they move a little bit more. Okay. Another competition, it's a different set of judges, it's a really big crowd, the stands are big, if you haven't seen it, the press box is very high. So number one, no one's a rookie anymore. You're all veteran people, experienced people, and we expect improvement from last week. You need to give them something to watch. Believe it or not, five weeks from today is state. Now I put that in the text today. Five weeks from today is state already. It goes super, super fast. So let's have an awesome show. Number three, as always, is... To my award-winning color guard, good luck and give it your all. Love, Jimmy B. Victor J. Andrew High School's pod present drum majors Louie Anderson, Dominic Castro, Brady Tharp, and the Greendale High School Marching Band. So you're not coming to the front sideline, you're going behind that prop. So top base rim comes down and then the flops fall. You guys are going to end up on the front sideline again. You're going to curve around. Andrew's going to end up on the 45 on that side of the 50. Tenors and snares, whichever props you end up behind, if they're moving, you need to move with them. I'm sure you figured that out. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Perfect. That's sweet. Schuster is like the prop. He's like the solo man out there. It is fake news. Okay, we need to reset to the ballot impact, please. 
you know, the ballot happens and, and the flag. And the props are set like they are at the top of the show, which we've set 17 it's million times so far this year. Four is still a work in progress with these props. Okay, trying to move them and get them to where they need to be is not quite there yet. So please know that staff is going to get together and figure this out and we will do what we need to do. You can design anything that you think is going to be great, but until we see the actual physical props and trying to move them and seeing how it all works, you don't know that it's going to work until you try it. I didn't even know he was doing a march, but I know he's got two passions. Uh, one being a fan, the other being football. The fact that he gets to do them both on the same night is kind of special for him, especially on his last homecoming. Just really proud of him, the way he's balanced his passions and his joys together. It's been a great time watching him over the years. So, proud of you, Dylan. Then it's the ground game for Greendale. Mason Hazaneski weaves his way through the West Dallas Central defense, 14 zip, Panthers in front. Three nights ago at this time to where we are right now is remarkably different. Yep. Yeah, we are on our way for sure. I could not have been happier for the amount that we threw at them on Wednesday, Thursday, and today to do that yeah. was awesome. It feels great having your own pan round that know that someone is really there for you, watching you, like, because she's been to every competition that I've ever had. She's seen me grown from the little freshman I am to the senior section leader. Hey, Mom, uh, I just want to say thank you for everything. I love you very much. Thank you so much for being there for me. Is she behind me? <laughs> so it's just something so special. And Remember your instrument! Yes, Mom, thank you. <laughs> The things that the parents do for the band are amazing. <laughs> it's really amazing that all these parents commit all this time yeah. and they don't get paid. <laughs> but I really appreciate what all the parents have done for us throughout the years. All of the volunteers, whether that be the band dads or the uniform moms or people helping with food or anybody, videographers, everybody, each and everything that they do contributes to a better day that we get to have as a performer when we go to compete, or even if we're just at a Tuesday night rehearsal. And all of these volunteers just make that day so much better. To all the parents that volunteer for this organization, you guys are the backbone of what we do, and we couldn't do anything that we do without you. And to the new parents, by all means, jump in. And we have some alumni parents that have been here for a long time, and they, they want friends. Come join them. two significant corporate sponsors, C.G. Schmidt, who's the construction company doing all the renovations here, and then VIP, which does a lot of the yearbooks throughout the school district and a lot of the photography. VIP was kind of an in-kind trade donation sponsorship, so they were able to help us by offsetting some costs of things we needed to do anyways. One of those was the, the trailer wrap. They put the fantastic new wrap on. VIP also handled all of the, the thrown rose graphics that went on the props. My name is Jeff Richland and I approve this message. What you should probably do is try to get your...
What's better and why? Fluttering is better. It makes more sense. The band's fluttering. Yeah. yeah. So it is a true follow the leader. Literally following the person right behind you. Yeah. Okay. I'm learning that like patience is the key because getting frustrated and like yelling at people doesn't really do anything. You just gotta like stay calm with them because they're just as stressed out as you are. It's always like developing. It's never 100% perfect. Everything's just gotta be fluid and flexible. Just trying to get them to listen, but you just have to go for it. You can't be afraid for people not to like you. People really need a leader, someone to keep them under control in order to be able to keep focus like this during this rehearsal. There's not a whole lot we can be doing, and it's just easier to try to adjust to them right now because they're what, 200, 300 pounds ish. That's a lot to push. We'll just have to adjust to them. You have to be patient. Things aren't always going to go the way they're supposed to. So being flexible and patient and just easygoing, but willing to be a hard hand if you need to, is the biggest thing you can be in an environment like this. needs to come forward. We need to be tighter together. Pop out! Yeah. Wait, I could... It's a little crazy tonight, but I think that we can do it if we stay focused. I always felt like, uh, even ever since I was little, that you know I was the person that could lead people, that could be responsible for stuff. So what do you mean you're not stepping off on time? Like, you just like, you can't pull it like, right away? Even if it wasn't my role to be a chosen section leader, you're always a leader in some kind of Instead way. Instead of going straight back to the hashes, we're gonna slide over. Would it help it? What if we act like if one of like if you put off the top? Hey bands! Hey bands! Louder! Hey bands! Hey I think we finally have it. Fingers crossed. So this year at state, by by I uh, uh where to where to get a one hundo, one hundo, all right? One hundo. Best merch score ever, alright? All right. Let's get it! Alright, let's end. And that was an intense lot of happening in that rehearsal, but we got it done. Thank you for pushing through and getting this done. It's in much better shape than it was three hours ago. One of the reasons that we're going to Iowa this weekend is to let the BOA judges get a view of our show. For the first time ever, they'll see a Greendale show before Grand Nationals. On Sunday morning, the staff gets a full hour from a panel of BOA judges, and they get to give us some, some feedback on that, and there'll be some give and take there. So we want to get our whole show out there as best we can for the performance on Saturday in Iowa so that we can get that feedback more accurately to continue to improve the product moving forward. Can you imagine right now how we would be feeling if we were doing the closer and we hadn't run the prop movement since Tuesday? I could not imagine right now if we had, if we were doing movement four. I love listening to the music at BOA as well, which is why I really liked Iowa too, because we got to hear some of the bands' progression that was there. This is one of the top five groups in the country right there. We'll just go this way and up the hill. Hi, my name is Joe. Hi, Joe. But this one with your left knee bone. Hi, my name is Joe. Hi, my name is Joe. Hi, my name is Joe. Hi, Joe. Hi, Joe. This is their type of warm up. This show is really cool and it belongs at a BOA level. Okay, it's awesome to warm up in, right next to Blue Springs. The group that was standing right here is usually like top five in the country. You guys will always be the first ever Greendale band that went to a BOA regional. Put out a good show, put out a good product, we get all that feedback from the judges and from the fans that are there, from everything else, then we take that and we keep working towards BOA and Indy. And number three, as always, is... Bad yeah. Make sure that the battery stays here, and if we want to, you know, stage the battery off.
the sideline, can we do it in the back so that they're there? Or can we hide them behind the chairs, you know, over here so that they stay relational to the brass? I don't know how to explain how good that was. I don't know how to explain how good that was. And here, I'll, I'll explain it this way. There was a tweet, Greendale High School. Wow, exclamation point, exclamation point. What a show, hashtag BOA 2019. And it was tweeted by Blue Springs. We've thrown so much stuff at you guys in the last two weeks and I feel so bad about it because it's not how we normally operate. It's not, it's not how we normally operate. We're normally at our full show by now and we're normally in a good spot and I feel so bad about that. But that's why we did, and we, we did all these changes, okay? Because that was better than anything we could have ever done moving all those props and doing all that stuff. And to put that in front of the judges was fantastic and it was so good and now that's the springboard for the rest of the year. So we put all of this stuff, whether we make finals today or not, I don't care, you know, who cares? That's the springboard for the rest of the year. This show has been rough. Uh, all the changes, I think they were like absolutely necessary. I just wish they happened sooner so we would have what we have now down to a T. Um, yeah, he's just trying to solve things and I get it because it's a lot of stress. So him saying sorry really meant a lot. Thank you for putting up with all the messiness of the last two weeks and for just rolling with it and for pushing all those dang things so often. And I promise you we're in a much better position now than we ever were before. That was such a good show. We learned the rest of the show on Tuesday night and we do the whole thing next weekend at our home show in Franklin and then we go to Downers Grove and then we go to State and Whitewater is awesome and then we are ready to roll. It's really raining, so we're gonna actually cancel the Greendale and Lacrosse performances in the afternoon. We will just perform tonight. Tuesday night and then practiced it the rest of the week. Good job. It's a really, really cool ending and you guys did really well putting that together. Greendale loves their home show. You guys have a lot of supporters here. Show that support back when you see other bands. Number three, as always. <laughs> Good. In 
the day and age of such focus being on test scores and ACT scores and college prep and what am I going to do when I'm outside of high school. Music is one of those areas that allows students to be expressive. It allows students to relax in a day. But while they're doing that, they're still learning so much. Not only notes on a page and how to move and how to dance and how to sing and how to play a string instrument and how to bang on a drum, but they're learning life skills that they can apply anywhere else. They're learning teamwork. They're learning dedication and commitment. They're learning the importance of every single last individual. And they're learning these things while they're having fun with their friends. They're not sitting at a desk, which is important in and of itself. Everyone needs a break. And music not only gives them that break, but it gives them a chance to be expressive, to sing, play guitar, to do things that they can't do in other classes. school of 900 kids, if 885 of them came out for the band, they'd all be in. Regardless of what that does to us on the field, we might have to stand still and not move because there's too many people, but I'll take anybody that wants to be in the program. Ultimately, it's about giving people the experience. I say this a lot to trumpets, but it applies to everybody. No heroes. Let's be one full band sound. Last Wisconsin show. Get some. One, two, three. Get some! I love marching band more than any other part of what I do. The whole process of it, it's because you get to design and create. You get the teaching part where you get to see the evolution of the show from early August at band camp to November in Indy. You get the growth of freshman 14-year-old student who can't doesn't know their left from their right, to senior who, because of what he's done for four years, is going to go study to teach it later. And part two, good luck everyone from Kathy's Paw. Come majors, Libby Anderson, Dominic Castro. There will be over 35 million people seeing you on broadcast TV, on the internet. When the Tournament of Roses says that they are a family, when they accept you on day one, they mean that. They truly embrace every participating group, from Laura's visit here to all the events of the week leading up to January 1st. I think this is pretty awesome. It's remarkable that they truly make you feel like you are just as important as any other unit in that parade. I'd like to officially invite the Greendale High School Marching Band to participate in the 131st Rose Parade in Pasadena, California on January 1, 2020. Congratulations! back of the bus. <laughs> that was just so much fun. We're always playing music, cracking jokes. And that's just part of the part of the back of the bus kind of culture. <laughs> Place in class 3A, the Greendale. Yeah! 
Raise your hand if you think that was our best performance of the year. This is a good example of how we talk all season about how, yeah, placements and awards are awesome, but it's cooler to come off the field feeling really good about what you just did, regardless of what the people in the press box say. How do you feel about that one? Good. Yeah, that was, without a doubt, that was your best performance of the year by far. Not even close. Night and day difference, get it, from this afternoon? Night. I've been talking to a ton of other seniors and they just, they agree, it just flew past. And a great to say. Did you get the, uh, your trumpet time? Yeah. Depending on the time of year, I mean, sometimes it's, you know, he can be in bed by 11 and it's fine, but there are times, you know, certain times fall's not easy, um, you know, where he'll be up till one o'clock some days, and that's just the way it is if you're gonna do all of it, you know. State is kind of undescribable. It's just, there's no better energy throughout the entire season that you get, especially as a senior. State was always one of my favorite competitions for several reasons, but the one reason that sticks with me is this, receiving state letters from alumni. I was amazed every year by how many letters the band would receive and inspiring words of wisdom that were being passed down. These moments do not last forever, so make sure you embrace the ones who are around you. I hope you've all learned so much about each other. Working as a team in a section isn't always easy, and you guys know that. Hopefully you've got some cool section shirts this year and still go to McDonald's for state day breakfast. Put your heart and soul into this performance. I want to hear you all the way from Iowa State. From your favorite trumpet alum, Jay Spots. I have three things. Number one, respect the people around you. Number two, always try your best. Number three, as always, is have fun. It's state day. The day you've been waiting for is finally here. The time has come to make your mark on the biggest stage in the states. Whether this is your first state day, your last state day, or somewhere in between, here are some things to remember. To the, all the underclassmen, the biggest thing to remember is to have fun. Walking into that stadium can be a little intimidating at first, but just remember that everyone in those stands wants to see you do your absolute best. So walk out there, listen to the mob of Greendale parents cheering you on, and give them your best performance yet. You will remember the hard work and success, but more than anything else, you will remember this every time you stop to smell the roses. Drew Widlars. We've rehearsed this every single day this week and we still have people that can't go one, two, three, four, five. Okay, I don't know why, I, I can't, we can't help you anymore. And if I sound angry, I'm a little frustrated with that because we've done that seven million times. And it's the very first time the judges are gonna see you. And if they happen to be looking at you and you're the person that misses the horns up and the judges are like, uh, another band like this, great. Then they're gonna write you off from the moment they see you for the first time. Don't do that, don't be late. Okay, there's zero excuse for that. It's just a lapse in concentration. I've always been raised and always been taught to just, whatever you're doing, you gotta always give 110% effort because if you don't, that moment's gone. You're never gonna get it back.
You heard this word a bunch today. The, the word was memories. And I'm sad to see you guys go and see all this in my past. I'll remember everything. I love you guys. Four out of five, six letters, use the word make memories today. They can't remember their score in 2009 at State. They don't care, but I guarantee you they remember walking off the field and they remember performing next to their friends. So whatever happens today, I just want you guys to remember that these people care about you. And I just want you guys to have fun, all right? You will have the most energy and adrenaline in any type of performance you've ever had today out there in about 20 minutes. Oh! Now, what you do with that energy and adrenaline, that determines the quality of the performance. Here's last state. We're going to make it good. Probably going to be the best state we've ever had. In first place, with a score of 92 points, Green Bay. This year has been crazy with all the design changes and everything that we threw at you, but we are peaking at the exact right time, which is what we've talked about as well. So hopefully you guys understand that those changes and everything that we did and all the stress from September and all that craziness paid off in the long run. This is our highest score in school history ever. It was 92.625. What you do in the next nine days will determine that. I feel like coming out of this, we all feel a little more connected. Like we've all gone through something together through this like power of hope, it's like we're all becoming closer. We're more of a family, I think, than we've ever been before. That we are here for each other and then we know that if we ever need help, we can turn to pretty much anyone that's here and we can get help, support. What was really nice to see is kids helping kids. It wasn't just the adults, the well-trained people helping, they were fantastic. But it wasn't just that, it was students helping students get through what was a very difficult time for everybody.
When we learned about the Rose Parade theme and Laura came to speak to the students and talk about the power of hope, it's like anything else that you can say, here's this ideal, but before you get to actually experience it, you see its value, but you may not know its value. And then when that happens, I think it allowed everyone to embrace that power of hope. And it became personal. and now it's done, okay? And that's only a fraction of the echo. Have fun by performing with your heart because that is just as much fun as, as hotel goofiness and jumping in pools and all of that. Perform with your heart and I promise it will be an experience that you will never forget for the rest of your life. Yeah? Yeah. Let's get it on three. One, two, three. That was far and away the best performance Greendale has ever put on this field. That was a hard week for them and they channeled all that emotion into a beautiful run. Really, really proud of you. It was a very hard week, okay? The hard parts are not gonna go away anytime soon, okay? Just because our performance is done here today, it's not gonna go away, okay? But you took the challenge, you rose to the challenge, you exceeded the challenge, and you did everything that any of us staff-wise could ever have asked of you in a situation like this. We are incredibly proud of everything that you did today, everything that you've done this last week, everything that you will continue to do. Please, just because our show is done, that doesn't mean that we stop being there for each other. 
Okay, that doesn't mean we stop checking on our friends and our section mates, not only the rest of this time in Indy, but all the way up through Pasadena and beyond. Okay, promise me that you will do that? Yeah. Okay, because that's more important than any score, than any performance, than any judge thing, than any of that. I'm actually getting really excited now. Feels like we're actually coming up to the real date. Sunny California, 65 and sunny sounds fantastic right now. Yeah. Uh, what you're going to see today is a little bit of what people will see out in Pasadena. We're going to start with the field show. Drum makers, Dominic Castro, Brady Tharp, and the Greendale High School Marketing Band. Greenhill High School Marching Band was selected and will be appearing at the 2020 Rose Bowl Parade in beautiful, probably 60, 70 degrees temperature. I cannot be more proud to represent you. It's cold and we all want to go inside, but first they're going to show off for you a little bit. We had planned to donate teddy bears as we had done for the last couple of years, but we found out from the Shriners Hospital in Pasadena that they really had a great need for coloring books. Everything is coming up roses in Greendale because one of the best bands in the state has a big goal this season. Greendale High School Marching Band preparing to perform in the 2020 Rose Bowl Parade. A story of opportunity and overcoming life-changing challenges for Greendale students. The Greendale High School Marching Band is exactly three weeks away from the Rose Parade. I know there's some of you who have family that have marched in the parade before. I marched in the Rose Parade when I was uh, a junior in 1978. My daughter is part of the band. Her name is Kathy, and she plays clarinet. It'll be 42 years since I've, I've been in there. I, I didn't think it was that long, but time flies.
come all the way down here not to show up and show out, right? If you're ready to go do this and get this party started, say yeah! Get this party started by singing my favorite song. Baby shark, did it, did it, did it, baby shark, did it, did it, did it. Come on, can't hear you. There are some people like in Pitt and I just never would have talked to them because there's like that age difference there or they're just people who like they don't play soccer and if I wouldn't be in band right now I would see them in classes but I would never really actually be able to have that kind of connection with any of them. Five and a half miles with a drum, that's gonna hurt. I'm I'm scared, I'm really scared. It'll be fun, I, I have no doubt about that. My shoulder's gonna be hurting after this. A big aspect of what I do is to invoke the musicianship into my craft and to really soak everything out of the ensemble. It's my job to ensure that yes, they're keeping time, yes, they're doing everything dynamically that they're supposed to be doing, but also to really invoke some sort of inspiration or some sort of emotion in them while they're on the field. Make sure that phrase crescendos and goes somewhere. So we're going to start with the field show. We're going to spend a good hour or so getting back into the swing of things. The first solid rehearsal block in non-20 degree weather that we've had in a while. So we need to take full advantage of it. And then we'll reconvene and rehearse parade things. My mind was blown that I had the opportunity to be in both the Macy's Day Parade and the Rose Bowl Parade. We come from this little small town in Wisconsin, but we can do these great things as one band. I am thankful of these people before me that worked hard to get this band program where it is, because without the people before us, we could not be going to the Rose Parade.
but it's really romantic. Yeah. Up here, this high, looking at oh. the Hollywood sun. Look at that cool truck over there. Outside the Rose Bowl Stadium in Pasadena. We made it to the Rose Bowl. We're setting up for our photo right now. One of the coolest events of this entire experience is to, to get the iconic photo taken in front of the Rose Bowl. I was contacted by 
this gentleman from Pasadena City College. He emailed a couple weeks before the parade and said, is there anything that we can shout to them, some sort of cheer? We're gonna have this in our grandstand. We're gonna make a banner so that the kids not only hear it, but in case you're playing or something, that they'll see it also. do the show ever 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 okay so let's put out some sound number three as always is we're watching the los angeles band perform at van fest they look like they're having so much yeah, fun they look like they're having fun and they're really good they sound really good first hit I was when I turned back field I was just smiling the whole time the performance at the band fest event was very exhilarating So excited. It's so cool to be here. I'm super excited for the parade and everything, and this is just amazing. I'm so happy to be here. That's what it is. We stick together. We always have each other's back. And that family is on a family trip of a lifetime. This is wild. This is really something special. Very special indeed. The Greendale High School Marching Band, the 15 straight state champs, will march in the Tournament of Roses Parade on Wednesday. Yeah, and you could say they're fired up to do just that, especially here in Pasadena. When we were practicing the parade in 30 degree weather, people's hands were, you know, cracking from the cold and it's 60 here and it's beautiful. The Badgers being here, that was the, the, the icing on the cake. We found out 14 months ago that we were chosen to be here. And so it's 14 months of planning, preparation, fundraising, and just, I don't think it really hit anybody, staff, students, and, until we get out here. And now that they're here, they haven't forgotten about where they're from and who they're representing. And where they're from, haven't forgotten about them either. Yeah, all of Greendo, they're cheering for us. You know, it's, Greendo is like a very small bubble, but for us to be able to do something as grand as this, well, maybe we can put Greendo on the map. People have told me like, I'm not probably not gonna be able to see anyone else that has marched in the parade and gotten like the honor to do something as incredible as this. Incredible is a great word for this family, but it's another word they got them here to smell the roses. Dedication, the dedication to excellence, the commitment as staff, it's our job to put them in a position to succeed and give them music and the, give them the vehicle to have success. Our congratulations to the Greendale High School Marching Band. Now, truth be told, that's my high school. I am a Greendale High School alum, and I'm so, so proud of the Marching Panthers. Again, we'll see them tomorrow at the Rose Parade.
Peace for tomorrow, please. I mean, you don't get opportunities like this anywhere else, so have fun today. Love you. time Wisconsin State Marching Band champions. They've also performed at the 2016 Macy's Thanksgiving Day Parade. Now they can add the 2020 Rose Bowl Parade to their resume. What are you hoping they take away from this experience? I just hope that they see the opportunity to entertain the world and that they can carry this moment with them for life. They were one of just 20 bands to perform in the Rose Bowl Parade, a special opportunity for the kids, but also for the families as well. Here in Pasadena, Stephen Watson, WISN 12 News. There's a huge section of bleachers all full of 
people wearing red. So it was all Dodgers fans. From that moment on, it was like, this is going to be sweet. And then that just, I think, for the kids too, any nerves that they had to be able to turn and just let loose and play for the Badger fans who just went crazy for them. And then to turn and have to do TV Corner, it was like, it, it all worked out really well. Greendale High School Marching Band from Greendale, Wisconsin, director Tom Reichenberg. could have imagined them being. It was so cool to see them really bring it. My arms are more tired than my legs. <laughs> it was a lot more fun than I expected it to be. It was honestly a once in a lifetime opportunity. It was just so amazing to see the crowds, everybody cheering. To see a couple of Wisconsin fans was especially cool because they came all the way as far as we did and showed Awesome support. It was really great. I loved it. We're in the road for it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Wow. We ended our first season with Macy's, and we ended this last season with the Rose Bowl. And honestly, I feel blessed, and I couldn't have ended it any other way. Greendale members, you are fantastic. You brought it, you were awesome, and I know you had the time of your life. This is a memory that you are going to be able to keep and share with your kids and your grandkids. The world saw you, they embraced you, they welcomed you, and each and every one of you represented the power of hope this year. We are so thankful and so grateful that you were able to come out, you earned it, you killed it, you did it, we loved it, I hope you loved it, Congratulations. For years and years, I chased their cheeks at the crazy speed of always needing more. But when I stop and see you here. We get to march. Yeah, we get it. They're the oh, yeah. star of the show. <laughs> <laughs> Why are we going to the North senior class that's ever had. Scores don't matter, but... Uh, Scores don't matter, memories yeah. matter. Memories matter. Yeah. Oh. He did it! <laughs> Let's wait until tomorrow starts tonight. It starts tonight. And let this promise in me start.
about that day, Kelly. Yeah.